Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Imagine Acre Wood. Um, today what we're going to be talking about a little bit is um, how I appendix carry my draw. And um, if you decide to, to appendix carry, i um, give you a little bit of tips and tricks here. So um, appendix is here, guys. Um, now, personally, I'll show you here. Um, I carry a little bit to the right of center line. Some people will go a little bit farther over to the right, like at the, like a one, one o'clock position. But for me, I'm just to the right of 12 o'clock, okay? Um, I carry my spare reload here next to my pistol. And um, as you guys can see, it conceals perfectly well under a uh, just a normal cover garment here. So um, this is normal North, North Idaho kind of spring clothing, and uh, I'm not out of touch. If I had a t-shirt on, I could conceal just as well. So keep that in mind here, guys. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is um, kind of showing you, walking you through the, the steps of a draw, okay? So um, here we've got a uh, empty pistol, okay? Got an empty magazine for right now. We're just working with empties, okay? And we're going to work on our draw a little bit to start, okay? There's a couple of ways you can uh, can remove your cover garment, okay? Um, one of the ways is, and this is the way that I use um, nine out of ten times, unless I've got a, uh, like a heavy jacket or something like that on, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab here, right at, uh, right at, on my, right on my belly, basically, okay? I'm going to purchase as much material as I can here, and I'm going to rip up to my chest, okay? You can see that fully exposes my pistol, okay? Usually I'm going to rock back slightly, okay? Like this, so, um, see that? And I can get a full purchase of, and I can get that up there, okay? Okay? Get that all uh, uncovered, see? Okay? Um, mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is kind of a scoop method where, where you're going to go underneath the garment down here, under the tails, and you're going to grab and you're going to pull up. Now, um, I've seen some instructors, uh, and I agree with them, say that this is not ideal because you're having to move um, this hand, which you're wanting to get a good purchase on your, on your firearm as you drive out. Um, it's taking this hand and lowering it away from kind of where you want to be. You want to be really right here in center mass, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, sometimes with a heavier cover garment, you are going to have to scoop, like with a coat or something like that. Um, but most of the time for me, this kind of grip here and rip, okay, it works for me great, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, it's just my technique. So, hey okay guys, so the next step in our draw is um, once we've ripped up, right, we've, we've, really, we've really mastered that, clearing that cover garment, okay? Um, and, and don't worry about showing your belly guys or anything like that. You're getting into gunfight, okay? So just really rip up that, rip up that shirt, okay? Um, from there, the next step you got is you're going to drive into your pistol, okay? You're going to really drive your webbing home into your pistol here, okay? Make really good, you want to feel that, you want to feel that, you want to get that thumb down in there, and you really want to feel the purchase on that, that firearm, okay? So we're here and driving in, okay? Driving in, okay? Okay? If our hands are up here, we're here, driving in, okay? So we can be here. No, man, I don't want any problem. Okay, all right. All right, from here. No, man, no, man, no, man, no, man. Okay, all right. And for me, guys, I, again, this is why I carry an XD personally because I'm appendix carrying. I like this little grip safety here on reholsters. I just like to be able to, I can kind of lift my thumb up put it here on the, the rear of the slide, and I've cleared that, and I know that I can reholster safely without getting like a tail of a shirt caught in here. Um, I have actually got the tail of a shirt caught in a trigger before when reholstering dry firing guys with a Glock, and um, so your mileage may vary, but if you're gonna reholster guys, um, do it slowly. It, there's really no reason unless you're a police officer or something like that, to have to reholster quickly. Um, if you're drawing your pistol, um, you use your pistol, you should be able to reholster fairly slowly. So always look it back into your holster, especially with appendix carry, guys. Um, it's just, just safe. Um, you're, you've, got, uh, <laughs> you've got firearm pointed right down here. You've got a femoral artery here. 
Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. So again, um, I can be in my pockets here. Now, if I was in my pockets here, I might take a sweep here. Okay, I might clear my garment like that if I'm in my pockets and then come in and drive. But um, typically it's still gonna be, okay. Just from, you know, hey man, hey man, hey man. Okay. 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 And again, guys, this is all just very basic stuff. I'm just trying to help you. I'm not an instructor. I'm just showing you some basic fundamentals that I use, okay? So, okay, so let me slow this down for you for a minute, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab cover garment. We're going to rip. We're going to clear our cover garment. We're going to drive in to our pistol. Hopefully get that thumb back behind the holster here, okay? We're going to drive into that pistol. We're going to get a good purchase on our grip and we're gonna rip out. Now when we come out, guys, we're gonna keep it close to our body, okay? We're not gonna do a swinging motion, okay? We're not gonna come out and come like this, okay? We're gonna come out straight up to here, to sternum level, okay? When we're here, you can notice my wrist starts to turn, and we're gonna dry, we're gonna make contact here. This is where we wanna make contact with our offhand, okay? We wanna get a good purchase, a good two-hand purchase on that firearm. Okay, and then we're gonna drive out. We're gonna drive straight out, okay? Thumbs forward, okay? So, show that, show you that to you here, okay? Just in a uh, slightly slower motion. Rip, in, drive, out, okay? And if you're probably the, uh, well, if you wanna get fast, guys, you gotta master this, but if you wanna be accurate, the most important thing is as you're driving out to drive out with a good point of aim okay you're driving straight out so those sights come out into your into your uh into your focus and you can make a shot okay make a clean shot so as you get better at this guys you can speed up just start real slow rip okay rip Drive out, okay? Rip. And you see, guys, I kind of hung up there on my cover garment. Make sure you get that cover garment up and out of the way, okay, guys? As much as you can. It's a little harder if you're wearing multiple shirts, if you got tighter shirts, that sort of thing. Make sure you get a good purchase and rip up clear. Take your pistol, come up, drive up, and then drive out, okay? Again, we're coming up, we're coming down, we're getting our thumb behind our pistol here, driving down, coming out, thumbs and fingers forward, making contact here with our other offhand, and driving out, okay? With a good thumbs forward grip, my sights are perfectly aligned, okay? All right, so let's try that with some, um, let's try that with some rounds, guys. We can go from a hands up to practice, or we can go from like kind of a, a normal stance for practice. See how this goes, guys. I'm a little, keep in mind, I'm a little rusty. I haven't, uh, it's been a long winter and I haven't been out here drawing and shooting like I should. So, um, okay. Reholster. And again, when we reholster, guys, we're looking it into the, uh, into the holster, okay? We're not, okay. Again, let's see if we can do that again. Good thumbs forward grip, okay? Okay, again, we're looking our holster back into the, the gun back into the holster, okay?
again, guys, practice makes perfect with this. I'm no, uh, I'm no gunfighter or anything, you know, guys. I'm just a normal, everyday Joe. But it's important to put rounds down range. Um, if you don't put rounds down range, when you actually need to use your pistol, you're not going to be proficient with it. So it's really important to practice, put rounds down range, um, and uh, get proficient with your firearm. Um, lots of people think they could put new triggers or new sights or you know fancy uh, upgrades on their handgun and it'll make them more proficient as a shooter well sometimes it can help you um, if you're already a good shooter but it's not going to make you proficient what's going to make you proficient is rounds down range so keep that in mind guys um, I would always recommend if you get a pistol um, instead of going and spending money on upgrades right away um, spend money on ammo instead and get to know your pistol and use it um, there's an old saying uh, I think it goes something like uh, fear the man with one gun um, so keep that in mind guys Okay guys, so when we're, and this is something I still need to work on some, okay? Um, okay guys, so when we're getting our reload, I forgot to mention, we really want to get in there as well and get a hold of our reload deep in the palm, okay? We want to get this base here, you guys can see that, deep in the palm, okay? And then I'm going to, what we call index this, this uh, magazine, okay? My index finger is here. Um, what I can do here is... Um, I can index this real easy. I've got it in my workspace here. Okay, we call it our workspace. We don't want to come down here with it. We don't want to come down, uh, come way up here. We don't want to go anywhere with it. We want it right here in our workspace. Okay, we can see everything still in front of us. We can see any potential threats out here, and we've got our gun here where we can quickly get it back into the fight. Okay, but what we're going to do is we've got that deep palm uh, grip, and we're going to index this this magazine right in here, guys. We're not gonna miss as much if we index this in here on our reload. If we're down here trying to fumble with this, we're gonna miss, guys, okay? If we've got this index nice, we can just point, boom. We're gonna hit our mag well. We're gonna be able to drop that slide home, and we're gonna be able to come in and go uh, and drop our slide, okay? So that's what we want. We wanna go uh, as smoothly in our uh, magazine changes as possible. Um, I'm still not very fast on mag changes. I'm trying to get faster. So make sure you work on that at home as well. All right, guys, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video today. I know it's something a little bit different, but it's my channel. This is the Imagine Acre Wood, and we do Imagine Acre Wood stuff. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.